Hey, welcome back to the show. Let's check out the Origin FX Halcyon Gold Overdrive pedal, which is inspired by the Clon Centaur. This is a different kind of overdrive than I'm used to, and the whole Clon Centaur design, I've never used it before, but instead of cutting the bass and just boosting those mids and just really tightening up that sound like most overdrives do, this is designed to boost your guitar signal in a really transparent way to work with your amplifier in just a more organic sense. I'm sure that many of you are aware that the original Clon Centaur is revered as like a god tier of overdrives. It had certain diodes in it which helped with the clipping stage and they're meant to be unobtainable these days, which is making that original Clon Centaur, it's sitting on eBay at like $18,000 and absolutely ridiculous prices. It's totally unjustified in my opinion, but checking out the Halcyon Gold from Origin FX, it does everything that the Clon Centaur does, as well as extra features which we'll just get into. And to support that, I'm using the Victory VX Kraken Mark II today, it's the 50 watt variant. I'm on channel two and the gain is really wound right down on this. I'm not really pushing this front end very hard at all through the amp. This is the basic tone that I'm getting. <laughs> You can hear right there, it's not really even in that plexi territory yet. It's wound right back. So turning the house in gold on now, it's going through the front end of the amp with no other effects at all. <laughs> You can hear straight away with all those dials centered that it's just boosting that guitar signal. It's not taking away any of that bass or it's not taking things away that you'd usually expect from an overdrive pedal. I'll just run through the controls quickly just so we can learn how to dial it in. So starting with the level, when you turn this right down, the signal's really tight and focused. <laughs> And as you turn it up, it just starts to really thicken up and bloom. I guess to the point when you turn it up too far and it's not working with the drive properly, things will start to muddy up. It keeps itself together nicely with lead lines, but the second you start to chug away on it, it starts to sort of break up a little bit. Gets a little bit thick. And next we get to the drive, and this really has two rolls. It actually adds the amount of gain to the signal as we turn it up, but it also boosts a whole lot of mids into it as well. So you can really push the mids over the top, find a happy medium. I'll just show you how that works. <laughs> You can really hear how it pushes those mids and really just adds to that signal. But I think between the level and the gain, you can really just work them both just to get the right amount of sort of aggression, the right amount of bite, and just dial things in to get a really nice tone. <laughs> And you can easily tell right there that you can blend those just to come up with some really nice tone. On top of that, we've got a standard tone dial that's on all overdrive pedals. Then with the dry dial, this is designed to blend the Centaur circuit within the pedal with the overdriven tone in the pedal. So you can just really work out exactly how you want the pedal set. All the way over to the left, we're just using the Centaur circuit. And all the way over to the right, we're just getting the overdrive in the unit. 
And that's the way that I understand it in a technical sense, but using my ears and trying to describe it, I just find that all the way over to the left, it's like a more pronounced mid bump, and that just becomes less apparent as you turn it clockwise. It just works in well with the other controls just when you're focusing on your tone, and it's like a finishing sort of dial. And next we get to the adaptive switch. It has a few different functions. I think it's really cool. All the way over to the left, it works just like the original Clom pedal. And when you turn up that drive, things get really bitey. They get really mid focused. <laughs> You can hear then when I turned up that drive that the mids just really stuck out a little bit too much and they just overpowered things and it was a little bit too bitey. If you want to have that rich overdrive sound, you can just change it to the center position or the number two position, which in turn allows that overdrive to come through but just turns down those mids. So this is in the first position. <laughs> It still barks at you a fair bit, but you get the idea there. And the second feature of the adaptive switch is when you roll back the volume on the guitar, things just really clean up. You lose a lot of those frequencies and you get a really nice clean signal coming through. And that's a really cool feature that you can roll off your guitar volume, still maintain a fair bit of actual volume coming through, but the whole signal cleans up a fair bit and it's fairly reactive to the way you play the guitar. And you get the idea there, I think it's a totally usable feature of this, especially if you're just running through a single channel amp like a JCM800 or a Plexi or something of that regard. So you can just turn your volume down, things clean right up, and then you can just crank it back to get your whole rhythm tone back. It's, it's really cool and it works well. And then lastly, you've got the voicing switch, which all the way to the left gives you the original Centaur circuit, and then flicked over to the right just gives you a modified circuit. I find the Klon circuit a little bit bitier, it's got a little bit less bass, it's got more mids. And then over to the right, it's a little bit more modern, it's a little bit warmer sounding, but between all those switching options and what you've got, it's very subtle, but you can dial in your exact tone. I'm just really loving this pedal. <laughs> And that could easily be one of my favorite thrash tones I've heard. Just the way this works in the setup, it doesn't seem to take away any of those frequencies like your bass or, or just change the amp too much. It's just adding a really sweet sort of richness to it. It's maintaining all the tightness for those riffs, but they sound nice and thick and they're really punchy. And I'm not even needing to use the noise gate, so things are just really natural. You can hear, that's the sound that you get. It's just absolutely unreal. 
So there you go guys, it's a totally different overdrive, it works completely different to the way you think it should. It might just inspire you to get some really great tones, but I really love it and it's just changing the way that I'm dialing in my sound, it's just totally unique. But check it out, it's the Halcyon Gold by Origin Effects, there's links in the description and I'll see you guys next time.